Hi everyone, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to look at how we create a symmetrical image. Very often you'll see images and the left hand side is an identical replication to the right hand side. Um, now I have people often ask me, how did you manage to frame this up so perfectly well and things were perfectly balanced? Well in the short answer is, it wasn't. Um, I have a picture here of uh, one of the chapels inside Coventry Cathedral. Now I framed up relatively evenly you can see that this side is lower than this side. Now had that been the only issue I would have been tempted to make a copy of that letter by pressing Ctrl J and then go Edit, Transform, Distort and I would have tried to equalize these distance here by just dragging up that way and then using a crop tool to maybe you know crop this side to a, a very similar looking composition um, but it, it, it never really works out that way um, it can work on some images that just appear to be distorted but when you're trying to get something that's perfectly symmetrical it's very very difficult because any slight difference will take away from the effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all remedy some of these things that are, are laying about and looking a mess um, so I'm just going to zoom in I press the space bar to get my hand tool and move around to where I want to be and I'm going to use the healing brush I'm going to sample pixels from there oh pardon me I'm in darker mode and I'm going to run down that area and I'm going to reduce the size of my brush that's that one area sorted. Now I think we've got quite a little bit of distraction at the top here. So we'll do exactly the same here. I'm just going to swap over to the spot hanging brush. Let's grab those few bits and bobs there. This area is also a little bit distracting here. Um, for that I'm going to use the patch tool. I tend to use the patch tool when it's quite close to an edge. Um, when you're using one of the healing brushes it does have this habit of creating like a black mark near the edges. So anything like that. I generally use the patch tool. It's a little bit easier so you just drag that over to the area you'd like to select. Um, I'm being careful not to select there because of these lines that are up and down the ceiling. Um, so I'll go to that side. Right, that's that sorted. Now I've done these basic corrections, I'm going to create a copy, Ctrl J. Now the main reason I'm copying this across, if I'm perfectly honest, is because this lighting, you see there's a bank of lights down here, which looked lovely all lit up, um, the same on this side. Unfortunately this one was broken. Um, so what I want to try and do is make a copy of this side, rotate it, and place it on this side. The first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that the picture's upright. Because if I was to go for a selection from here, you can see how it's not really running center down that light. It's a little bit off. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the crop tool. And I'm just going to rotate this a little bit and get it to where I think is going to give me a little bit better selection. Now I'd say that's probably good. So I'm using the rectangular marquee tool to make a selection of the good half. This half has all the lights working. Um, we've already got rid of a lot of the interference and, and everything else. So now I've done that, 
whilst that section whilst that selection is still active I'm going to press control J so that section is now on its own layer now what I'm going to do is whilst this layer is selected edit transform flip horizontal now if I take my move tool I can drag this across to this half of the picture for the moment turn on the layer underneath and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that in until we get a nice match now you can see I've got some of this picture showing from underneath that's alright don't worry that just shows how much we are off when we're trying to center things so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the crop tool and I like the proportions of the picture this is a kind of a 1v1 ratio so I want to keep that ratio so I'm going to hold my shift key whilst I move the crop tool that's going to constrain the proportions for me and if we crop down to that so we've still got a nice ratio we've got both banks of lights that are working and it's perfect symmetry so what else can we do whilst we're here well what I often do um, is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure Aussie is selected I'm going to press shift control E flatten them down into one layer now I'm going to make a copy control J and now I'm going to go for an adjustment layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use black and white in this dialog box although it's a black and white image obviously the original colors can dictate how the picture appears so I'm going to take this red channel down quite a bit and I'm going to push the yellows off a bit greens, blues, I don't think I have an awful lot of effect uh, with this particular picture, it's mainly within the, the bits of stained glass that you'll see any changes but I'm just going to drop that down a little bit and close that now what I want to do is I want this black and white effect to only apply to the copy layer so if I press my alt key and I move my tool between the two layers you can see a little link box comes up so I'm going to click that layer or that adjustment layer is now only attached to that layer so it's not affecting the one below and now what I'm going to do is on this black and white layer use the blending mode to overlay and then I'm going to reduce the opacity down now you can see that does have quite a strong effect now it's something you either like or you don't um, I do <laughs> so you know I, this is the type of thing I will do all the time now there's nothing to say you have to stay with that particular blend mode um, you could try soft light let's just move the opacity up there so again you know it's totally up to you how strong you want these effects this particular section they are all contrasty blending modes um, and you will generally find from the top one is usually the lightest of the effects and they get harder as you move down this top section here are all darkening effects these are all lightening effects these are all contrasty effects um, the rest will go into in another video so it's totally up to you so if we go hard light and drop that down a little bit more and maybe put a levels adjustment in there and uh, what I might do is just have a look at the midtones I might pull the midtones up and move the black point in ever so slightly so if we now select all these changes that we've made and we drag them down into a folder I can turn that folder off and you can see with just a few simple editing techniques we've come up with something that's a little bit different a little bit gritty and not the same as what everybody else is doing um, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the tutorial do come back to see more well.